subtracting a decimal. So when you're subtracting decimals, again, the exact same thing. You're going to want to align them, and we're going to want to subtract vertically. The major thing about subtracting, which I'll go through another example with you. Actually, I'll add an example for you. When you're subtracting, always make sure you subtract the larger value from the smaller. Well, in this case, that's exactly what we're doing, the smaller from the larger. But I'll explain in my next example what really I'm talking about when that's not the case. So just remember when subtracting, all right, we align the decimals, right? And then basically all we're going to do is subtract vertically. However, two, I cannot, um, uh, from the two, I cannot subtract from eight, right? So therefore, I need to borrow from the next digit over, which makes that a 6, and then that will be a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 6 minus 6 is 3. The decimals are all in the same alignment. So my final answer is 3.4. Make sense? OK. Oh, sorry. Now 